Right now, ready? You ready? Yeah? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we thought we'd film a bit of a life update. We've had quite a few questions on some recent videos. Um, so we thought we'd do a bit of an update for where everything is. Um, so first thing loads of people have been asking for, I know we put it on our community tab um, a couple of weeks back that an offer was accepted on a house. How's that going? Um, it's all going, it's still going ahead. This is, well, I know we've talked about it in the past in previous life update videos that we've gone and had quite a few house sales for, fall through. This is the furthest long we've ever got with a house sale. Um, so it's all trending in the right direction and I'm doing my very best to not get let down, um, no, sorry, to not get my hopes up too much. Um, and not believe that it's real and it's happening until it's happening but um yeah i think in the next six to eight weeks we should know a lot more it takes quite a while to go through all the checks especially when you're buying a house that you know has acres of land and boundary lines and streams etc things like that around it to know where your borders etc are um see so yeah, i think that takes a little bit longer than just buying a house on an estate um with a, a specific garden and fence so there's that to go through but obviously this is the type of the house that we want the house that is going to have a few acres so um we'll have land for the dogs we'll need to sort some fencing out um pretty quick because we've got lots of farmers in neighboring fields and um whilst phil is old and chilled we've got teddy to contend with and he has mastered jumping all of our fences at this house so um we've got a lot of work cut out for if and when we do get to finally move um and then i've got a lot of rooms to um furnish and decorating and it is a bit it's not a it's not a fixer upper i wouldn't call it a fixer upper at all it is purely cosmetic and taste um for us so we'll do things little by little as and when we have um the funds to do so um but yeah it's a amazing house I dream of the day when I can get my drone footage coming down my driveway to show you the house and then we'll all be there and the dogs will be running around in acres of land and other animals will be there and I get to do the house tour, the empty house tour and the furnished house tour and all the updates as and when we're doing little bits and bobs to the house um, and each time the room gets complete, like I dream of that day and I don't think it's that far away now. But again, trying not to get my hopes up. And also try not to give too much away until we actually move there, just in case. <coughs> so, yeah, so that's the house update. All good news at the moment. All steams ahead. Um, we're engaging with moving companies at the moment to try and price up moving all of our stuff over. Um, and, yeah, that's all, all going ahead. So um, as soon as we do have a real update on it, um, I think the next one would be when we exchange contracts. So... I do think it's still going to be at least six more weeks before we know any more um but it is it is happening um so yeah we'll keep you updated on that but please keep us in your thoughts positive thoughts only and yeah that's the update on the house move um then i had a few questions about philly bear because we haven't done an update on phil's health recently um he's good I would say the hair loss has just cut. So Phil, sorry, for those that don't know and haven't seen previous videos, our eldest dog is nearly nine, nine in two months time. And he has, um, we've gone through so many different tests in the past and so many different like vets referrals demanding more and more tests because we don't think there's something right with our dog. We get annual thyroid Cushing's tests because, um, one, they're common in Malamutes, and two, he displays a lot of the symptoms. We even treated him for a thyroid condition for a year just to see if it helped, um, because he was kind of like borderline on the, the the numbers as to whether he had it or not. Didn't help. Um, the vet didn't think he had a thyroid condition. He, he is alive, I promise. Um, so anyway, eventually we went to see some real specialists um, in dermatology and they confirmed the diagnosis of alopecia, which is bad news in terms of there's no treatment. Good news in terms of the fact that it's cosmetic. It's purely cosmetic. So he looks like a different dog. He's got a much yellower skin tone and he has a lot of hair loss. Um, 
and our goal has all the hair is not going to grow back but the goal has always been to slow the spread of alopecia and try to keep as much hair on his body for as long as possible and that I feel is working which I guess is why I haven't really done a video on it because nothing really has happened he's got his bold patches you can see one just here big black skin also um that's what happens when their skin gets exposed to sunlight um but yeah his his bold spots are um improving in that he doesn't have any new ones um and they don't seem to be spreading as fast i feel like in the last probably let's say six months ago there was a rapid spread of um of alopecia i'd say like up until i feel like from july july last year we slowed it down but between say january and june of last year i felt like that was rapid growth of spreads and that's when the bold patches really started appearing um yeah i do feel like we have slowed it down um he's just an old man i think he gets commented on in the video that he's you know slower and everything he is he's he is slower because he's the eldest and he is just an he's an old man now he's a grumpy old man at times too but he's the og um but in terms of his health he is fine he's just chill phil is how i would describe him um and his fur is it is what it is it is all i can say about that the spread does seem to be slowing but um he's happy in himself he's got a coat to go out with when it is particularly bad weather um and we're off on holiday soon so i need to get him a few layers i think more layers for him um which comes on to my next topic i guess is that we're going on our annual snowboard sledging holiday in two and a half weeks i think it is i'm not sure how these videos in terms of which order but we're off to aviemore uh, which is the scottish highlands we do go every year with dogs it's like the dog's holiday we're staying in a log cabin at the bottom of the mountain and we'll go through the forest and we used to climb the mountain every day previously but now we've got mia to start with and um i don't think she, she's not that keen on snow to be honest which is heartbreaking for me because it's my favorite season it's the dog's favorite season um so it's going to be a challenge but we're going with my mum and dad <clears throat> so they'll be there to do take turns with mia and they can't climb the mountain either there is a train that you can go up um but dogs aren't allowed on the train so we'll probably me and shane will probably hike the mountain which takes about four hours and then meet my mum dad and mia at the top um things like that so i'm super excited for our dog holiday um we didn't get to go last year because scotland closed the borders um with the lockdowns and everything that were going on so we don't that was the first year since having phil that i haven't been to Aviemore. it's one of my favorite places to go to um so yeah i'm really really excited i do need to get phil a jumper he has a coat but i want to get him a jumper as well so or maybe even you know like a snood i think I, the size of it i'll be able to just get like an adult snood but you know like a scarf that's just like a tube just around his neck where he's got his big bold patches to make sure that he stays warm enough um but yeah i'm really really excited for that there'll be lots of holiday vlogs um with my mum and dad as well um it's a long drive it's about six hours away so uh we're going there for a whole week at the start of february so i'm very very excited for that um and the dogs are just in, in the element over there um so yeah i'm really excited to take them on a holiday and that'll probably be our last trip before we move um so yeah i'm gonna try and make the most of it with family and excited to take you uh, along are you all right got something in your tongue yeah excited to take you along for the journey with us um and then last one i've got is about buddy so buddy is now five months old i think <clears throat> roughly i actually don't know his birthday to be honest he's not my dog he's ella's um so i'm not entirely sure and um, we got him in october so and you could get him at two months so yeah i think he's about five months old now um and he's around every weekend um him and teddy are still the best of friends um and i think phil absolutely loves buddy just because he takes teddy off his hands and phil gets to chill for even longer when buddy's here they are just a constant riot so um yeah he comes around every weekend obviously to see a lot of videos i do love to watch him and teddy's relationship and i love it when he's here just because Te i feel like teddy's getting so much exercise because they're just constantly racing around chasing one another even if they're in the house it's like destruction zone everywhere it's an absolute chaos but happy chaos so yeah i love when buddy comes to visit and then lastly um at the moment 
Teddy is now 18 months old, so I am on the hunt to find a vet that can now do what we discussed before, which is I don't want to get him officially neutered, uh, which is the point of no return. All my dogs and cat are neutered or spayed. Um, Teddy is the only one that isn't so far, but I would like the option to take it away. And also when you want to show your dog, they can't be neutered. So I am going to get him implanted, which is a technology. I think it's only available for male dogs and it's basically an implant is put into them and it's chemical castration for the period of time. You can get a six month or a 12 month dose. So I'm going to try a six month dose for Teddy um, because I'll probably want to show him in the summer. So that gives me the option to go back into the show dog ring after we move um, because it will expire by that point. So I'm just going to go for a six month dose and see how he does with it. But I am starting to see now signs of dominance. He's even trying to uh, dominate Nico. Is that the right way to say it? Um, it's it's happening now. You know, um, his hormones are up a certain point. So yeah, that he's starting to show signs of dominance. But also, he is constantly marking his territory, um, which is fine in the garden, etc. Except he d now does it in the house um daily he will mark his territory in the kit thankfully it's not on that carpet or anything like that he does do it on the kitchen tile so it's easy enough to clean up but it's just incredibly annoying and he never does it when you're watching him and i feel like i've scrubbed that floor i've polished it you know i feel, feel like maybe he got his scent because it's always in a certain spot so i keep washing it and washing it and like trying to put anti marking sprays up and lemon juice and it, i mean if you've got any techniques for stopping your dog marking in the house please let me know because i've never had this before with any of any of the dogs phil never did this um and he he was neutered around the age of two nico didn't get neutered or spayed because she's a girl until i think three um teddy's 18 months and he's been doing this for the last three months and it's driving me crazy um so yeah i'm hoping that's going to help stop that and stop him marking his territory and um, that would be my main aim and then um, we'll see what it's like because I've never experienced before and I just figured it's a six month dose so if it doesn't work then six months later it's out of the system and from what I understand it's like a microchip going in so it's just literally an injection that he has and then he's set for the next six months so we'll see how we get on with that I'll update you once he's got his appointment booked I'll probably do a, a video just on that in its own um, but yeah that's our main updates. If you do have any questions or if you think I've missed anything, um, I try to include the key topics. Usually I do a Q&A on Instagram and go through that, but I, um, I wasn't organised enough for that today. Um, so yeah, I've tried to think of everything that we get the most questions about on YouTube. But if you do have anything else, please let me know in the comments below and we'll film another one of these videos for you. Um, but I will leave you with a snoozy dopey Philip. Loving the one on one time. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all soon.